Hi, I'm Alex. And I'm Ryan. And we are two-thirds of Alive Through Memories. And we are going to answer five questions uh, for the reviews are in. If you're on a long drive, is there one album that you could listen to on repeat? Motion City soundtrack, Commit This to Memory. Nice. That's I just every song I can I have a good memory about and I can listen through and still enjoy it every time. I'm a big self-titled guy, so if I were going to choose, I can't choose between these two, but I would say either uh, the Blink-182 self-titled record front to back might be Tom DeLonge's greatest work, um, or the self-titled 1975 record. Is there a stage that's at the top of your list you would like to play on? For a while, I would say it was the uh, House of Blues in Boston, um, and I was fortunate enough a few years ago to kind of check that off the list. Um, for a private event for uh, Tufts University, and then, uh, I don't know, I feel like I'm not ever going to play a stage larger than that, so... Being local to Boston, um, I've always, some of the best shows that I've seen have been at Paradise, Paradise Rock Club, and uh, just being on that other side on the stage would be really surreal because some of the my favorite shows have been there. Is there anybody you would like to collaborate with? Recently, I've just been really listening to the Wolfpack Fearless Flyers. I, I really love the sounds that they make, and I would love to do any kind of work with them. Someone who would like be feasibly within my reach, potentially, of ever doing a collaboration with, uh, I would love to do a co-write with AJ Perdomo of The Dangerous Summer. I really just love the way he writes his lyrics so honest and pure and I feel like a lot of what I write is inspired from him and you know he offers his guest vocals on songs and maybe someday that will present itself as an opportunity for a live through memories. Is there something you can tell us that even your fans wouldn't know about you? A few years back I auditioned uh, to be not a blue man but the drum set player for the blue man group in Boston um, and I made it to the callback round which was like incredibly exciting and I don't know if you've ever seen that show before but the drum, have. The drum set makes no sense there's a ha hanging giant floor tom over here and a thousand cymbals uh, and it's just the most unorthodox drumming uh, you could ever possibly imagine it's really cool I didn't get the gig unfortunately but uh, who knows uh, maybe someday an opportunity will present itself again uh, for me I think fans friends family whatever know uh, about my music as I create it currently, but growing up and even into going into college, my passion and my initial plan for a major was film scoring. And uh, I had always been really inspired by film scores and kind of composing different kind of things. Recently, I've been kind of revisiting that with, uh, with synth influenced film scores like we've kind of done with our instrumentals mm -hmm. um the stranger things soundtracks yes. that has really influenced my input and i think both of our sounds uh with the instrumental scapes of that is there anything else you want to share with our readers in fact there is um, oh god <laughs> we have this release going on right now everything must go the full record is out today on bandcamp along with the lyric video for recover um, and we'll be putting out lyric videos every one week to two week, kind of leading up to the official release in June on Spotify and iTunes. Um, but after that, uh, I think what's been kind of cool about the way Ryan and I work together is we kind of trade off um, on creative projects. So right after this, um, actually literally right after we finish filming this, we're going to be working on uh, Ryan's next solo record. Building off of our project and the couple things that we explored with this project, taking some of those influences and then I've written a lot of things in that vein and then reimagined them, kind of expanded on the the 80s new wave vibe. I've been working personally on writing some songs and then taking them to Alex, again the reverse of what is happening with Alive Through Memories where he brought me ideas. I've been bringing him ideas and then we're coming up with these sounds that are big and retro. It's a really cool sound that we're coming up with. And that's that. Thanks for tuning in. We hope you enjoy the record and we hope you enjoy the lyric video for our cover. Yeah.